Welcome to another MP4Nation.net play and review. Today we have the v Ondo VX838. Now it's not a very new player. In fact, it's a very it's kind of an older player. Uh, we got this from Ondo, a couple of samples. We thought, you know, it's actually a very good iPod Nano type clone type player. So, I mean, there have been a lot of people asking us for this type of player. You know, we used to sell the, you know, the Nano type the whole shebang back in the day. So we thought, you know, maybe we should find a very good player, you know, something different. And here we found the Honda VX838. Let me just show you the accessories first that it comes with. It comes with a standard cleaning cloth, headphones, uh, USB charger, the English language manual for this, a silicon case, and disc with additional drivers if you have like Windows 98 and stuff. Now here's the player itself. It does use the older R Rock Chip RK2 uh, 608A chipset. Here's the actual player. One of the most notable things, especially considering, you know, anyone's going to say this is a nano clone, is just the overall build. It's very well built. It's a metallic body frame, you know, or actually no, I'm going to correct myself there. <laughs> it's, it is a a very nice hard plastic frame but it does have a little metallic thing going across there anyway <laughs> it's actually quite slim you know it's about eight millimeters thick it's quite nice has your five uh, pin USB slot here small microphone slot your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack uh, this particular version doesn't have the Wolfson audio chip when this player originally came out it did have the Wolfson chip built into it uh, we didn't ask for that to be in this. We just wanted something, you know, cheap and nice. <laughs> so here it is. It does have a tactile strip. It has a 1.8 inch. Uh, th it's a TFT screen, I believe, or maybe even a, a TFT or QVGA screen. Yeah, it's a TFT screen. Anyway, it's quite nice. We'll turn it on. There we go. The user interface is quite nice, at least well, at least it looks nice. Can't say it's very different from the, all the others, but there we go. Decent viewing angles, you know. And you can use a tactile strip if you want. I'll be honest to say the tactile strip isn't, you know, you know, that great. It's nothing like the Meizu strip, but it's still decent. Quite nice. Music, yeah. there you go. And you can just increase sound by moving your fingers, or you know, fast forward. It does play uh, MP3, uh, WMA, APE, and FLAC. So it does play you lossless. Uh, this particular version has 4 GB of internal memory. Uh, we are planning on carrying this with 2 GB, 4 GB, and 8 GB of internal memory. Uh, we may omit the 8 GB in the end, depending on how we think you know people respond to this. There you go. I mean, the build quality is fantastic on this. Really, it's a it is a high, high quality player. Uh, I can say that much for this. Let me go back to the main screen. To video. And the video playback, it does play back at 24 frames per second. It does play AVI files, but they have to be in 320 and 240 uh, resolution because it is the, you know, that is the requirement of the older ROG chips for the AVI files, uh, which are in XFIT to be in. So here you have a nice little small documentary of uh, ants. <laughs> uh, easy to fast forward. Rewind. Same way you can increase, decrease the audio. Oh, anyways. <laughs> you have your photo viewer. Nothing overly spectacular. You know. Decent image quality. Your FM radio. Of course, uh, you know. You do have to have the headphones plugged in for it to work. Your voice recorder, your game, which is, you know, 
your standard Tetris again, that's standard on the older rock chips. And you can just use the And you know, surprisingly the, the this Tetris at least for this rock chip uh on this player it's probably the best I've ever seen it implemented, really. <laughs> Anyways. And you have your ebook reader, I don't know, this is in Chinese the I mean the ebook file anyway. I really don't know how many of you really want to be reading an ebook on a 1.8 inch size screen. Uh, file navigation, you know, your file explorer, nothing surprising there. Your settings, there you go. And for languages, this does. Oops, let me just go back. There we go. It does have a lot of different language support, so. That's one of the good things. Anyways, we're adding this, or we want to add this because, uh, you know, there's still a demand for these stupid nano clones, you know, people who can't get over the design. Uh, so instead of buying the really cheap generic crap, maybe you could instead just you know pay ten dollars more for a much better quality player that will last you ten times longer you know this will probably actually last you a year or longer than the actual warranty period you know <laughs> anyways well most will definitely have this in 2GB and 4GB if we carry it on our site and possibly in 8GB the 4GB will be priced under sixty dollars most likely about fifty five dollars or so and uh, the 2GB will be about ten to fifteen dollars cheaper so there you have it the Honda VX 838. Head on over to mp4nation.net uh, to check this out uh, or head on over to our forums to discuss it. Thank you.